My name is Zachary McNaughton, and I am not a professional angler. I've been fishing for over 20 years, and the one thing that these years have taught me most is that I have a lot to learn. So let's meet some of Vermont's true master anglers, and together we'll discover some fishing techniques and explore the many species that this great state has to offer. Yeah, I'm Judd Crotzer. I'm a fisheries biologist with the Vermont Fish and Wildlife Department. And I'm Sean Good. Uh, the two of us um, run the Vermont Master Angler Program together for the Department of Fish and Wildlife. So today we're, we're doing a fishing challenge. So Judd and I are on one team, two fisheries biologists with Fish and Wildlife Department versus Zach and his teammate Drew Price. So, is there anything special about your price? <laughs> Not really. No, nothing. No. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, Drew was the first angler in Vermont to complete the entire list of fish species that are eligible for the Vermont Master Angler Program. He caught 33 different fish species um, over the course of what, I think 10 years maybe? Is uh, how long it took yeah. him to complete it? maybe eight years mm -hmm. and uh, so he's a good angler obviously um, both Zach and Drew are good anglers so today the challenge uh, that we have been thrown mm -hmm. is to see how many different fish species each team can catch in a single day and that by day I actually mean 18 hours so it's 6 a.m. here um, we're fishing until midnight today it's the morning of challenge day and I'm heading into position. We're here at the River Bend's campground on the New Haven where it meets the Otter. And Drew's just run to get the net. We left it in the car. Um, but we're going to get in position. And as soon as 6 o'clock rolls around, we'll have our first cast in the water. We're ready to do this. Sean and Judd, I hope you guys are ready to get crushed because we're intending on doing that. We're, we're pretty confident that we'll lose today, uh, but so we have to use the whatever advantage we can um, and as being administrators of the master angler program, of course we know where all the different fish come come from, although everybody knows that because it's in the, the annual reports, but um, the two top producers in the state for entries for the master angler program are Lake Champlain and Otter Creek. Yep. So we will spend some time on Lake Champlain today, uh, but we're starting out here on Otter Creek, uh, which is the, the second biggest producer, and um, we're in Rutland County, and uh, we're hopeful here that we can get our fall fish, because that's something we can't get on Lake Champlain. The plan is to pick up a fall fish here, maybe some moth. Anyhow, it's going to be a fun day. So the goal today is to catch more species than Judd and Sean and um, more master angler species. So each species we catch will be worth one point and each master angler size will be worth an additional one bonus point. So double the value if you get a master angler size species. like my third cast here at Otter Creek this morning That's and a nice fish. <laughs> I've got a pike on and I've got an ultralight rod and I can't horse him. Oh, come on baby. Oh, get out of that log. Get, oh, oh. <laughs> oh. Smallmouth bass. Not the size we're after but we'll take it. So, after my northern pike debacle, I put on a little MEP spinner, and about two casts later, I got this little fall fish here. I've made two casts, or ten casts with two different lures in about a 20 yard stretch of Otter Creek and just caught two different species. So, 
We're gonna keep going here. I think we're wasting our time here. Okay. So uh, that means, uh, do you want to try a brook trout or not? Um, do you think that's gonna be productive or do you think it'll be a waste of time? It's hard to tell. It's hard to tell. We're bailing on the river. We're heading to Otter Creek. We're gonna get going on the big lake. Um, we missed our chance to fall fish, um, but it's time. They got a fall fish. Ah, they just got their fall fish. Another little fall fish. These are the biggest, this one isn't, but these. this is the biggest species of minnow that's native to Vermont. Of course, this is just a young one, but they can get up over 20 inches. Spot number two. We're literally running now down to some falls. We decided to make a unscheduled pit stop in the hopes of getting a fall fish. Uh oh! Ah! I don't have the landing net, of course. Can you land that for me, do you think? Yeah, I'll try. Should we run up to the truck and get the net? Or you could, if you drag it back in the shallow here, you can drag it. There we go. Slippery little thing. <clears throat> so Judd, interestingly, cast a couple of dozen times through that pool with a worm and only had a couple of little nibbles and I made two or three casts with this little Panther Martin spinner rainbow trout color and this nice brown trout wild brown trout came out of the pool and smacked it. <laughs> All right. Make a run. Go find faster anchor. Lake trout. Got first fish on the lake. Fingers crossed. We're fishing in about 85 feet of water using tubes and swim baits. There you go. Set it. Set it again. Yep, reel down, set it again. Yep, good. Is that on the reel up? Yep, no, I was on bottom. My camera's not on, but... You're not gonna believe it. You're not <laughs> gonna believe it. <laughs> we got I our lake trout. We never... got our lake trout. That's that a lake trout. Our lake trout. What? I have what? never caught a lake trout that small. Is it a native? All no, no, it doesn't. It's it's been uh, it's a it's a stalker. That is hilarious. We got a lake trout. Not what we were looking for. When you hook into a laker in this much water and current, it's important to set the hook a few times because the first time you set, you may just be pulling the line bow that is drifting out behind the boat in the current. And these fish have very tough bony mouths. Ah. Off of the net. Zach, you got our first master angler of the day, 32 inch lake trout. All right, how you feel? Feeling good. All right. Took a little bit more than I was hoping for, but All right. let's get out of here. Look at the carnage on the ground. Oh, we got a mess. This is good. All right, here we go. You have the lime green top. Oh, oh yeah. Got him. Set it again, set it again. I did. Oh, yeah. There it is. Laker. The job of a fisheries biologist never ends even when you're not really working. We're out here fishing today and we were fishing Sugar Hollow Brook. 
and Judd spotted something unusual swimming around in this plunge pool right below the culvert. It's bright orange and we think it's a goldfish. Um, somebody's let it go and we're gonna try to get it out of here because it's an invasive species. Uh, fortunately, I brought my trusty backpack, Electrofisher. <laughs> and uh, one of the perks of the job, <laughs> we were prepared for this. Um, I just saw it swimming over there a second ago. So we're going to turn the backpack shocker on and there he is right there. Yep. Uh, we're going to nab the little guy. Oh, he's right here. Yep. He's knocked he's out. Oh, you went over him. Now you got him. All right, we got him. Here we have a non-native fish species living in a Vermont trout stream. Somebody felt bad about their little pet goldfish. Decided they didn't want it anymore, but couldn't bring themselves to kill it. And we see this happen across Vermont all the time. Usually it's lakes and ponds, but as we see here, they show up in rivers and streams as well. And, uh, you know, as a non-native, they can survive Vermont winters. They're pretty hardy and they will reproduce and breed and compete with our native fish species for food resources, habitat, uh, certain species like this are known to stir up sediments and muddy the water. Uh, it's just a bad idea to release your aquarium pets that you don't want anymore. So don't do that. <laughs> um, this is the result and it's unfortunate that people do this, but this fish is not going back in the water. If you really don't want to get rid of your fish by killing it, you can give it away to people take it back to a pet shop. Um, if you do want to kill it, the best way to do it is put it in a bowl of water and put it in the freezer. As the water chills, the fish's metabolism slows down and they eventually die just by um, slow metabolism and, and freezing and it's, it's probably the most humane way to do it. But don't let them go in your local trout stream. Over three hours into the challenge now, uh, Judd and I, Team Bio, We've only got two species. Um, got a fall fish and a uh, brown trout, Boston pike. Um, but uh, you know, I'm sure Zach and Drew are doing pretty well. Um, they got a lot of different techniques at their disposal. Uh, Drew really likes to fly fish. We're on a trout stream here, not having a lot of luck, even with a worm right now. Uh, but we have something that they don't have. And that is this. This is an electrofishing unit. It puts a small current of electricity into the water and stuns any fish that are nearby. So we are going to go fishing with electricity. Oh, there it is. Oh, that's the one. Right there. Head, 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 head. We got them. We got them both. Oh. <laughs> wow, that's a big fish. That's what I told you. <laughs> you know, I've been a fisheries biologist here for 23 years. What have you got? 12? 13. 13. I still get excited when we do this. It is unbelievable. All right. We're in a little stream, Rowland County coming down off of uh, the Green Mountains. I'm going to switch this over so you can sandwich them. Taking the backpack off. Uh, 26 and a half inches. 26 and a half.
we got uh, we got a pike. All right, species number three right now. All right, white perch. There's a ton of them right in along this wall. Oh, like everything. I just had like 15 fish chase after it. Come on, come on, there we go. Yellow perch. Document, document. Yellow perch. Like like that. Oh my goodness. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yep. Go in, go in a little bit further. You drop a pen. Oh, they're, look at them all. That small one still, yeah. Oh, dude, there's some big rock bass in there. Oh, mop. Oh, man. Throw it up to the camera. Large mouth. La, la, la. Oh, I just lost nine. nine. Nine? Oh, maybe we should check it. Yeah, I think we should. Woo! Pumpkin seed. That's On the seven. bamboo pole, nonetheless. Stay tuned for part two of the challenge episode to see if the obtuse angler Zach and Drew can maintain their lead and to see if Team Bio, Sean and Judd can make a miraculous comeback as they head on over to join us on Lake Champlain. Thanks for watching this episode of Vermont Master Anglers. For more content, visit our Facebook page at Vermont Master Anglers. If you're watching us on YouTube, please like and subscribe.